Good day everyone. Uh, remember we are talking about Anima and we are from PVH, Pranavalam Healing. We are trying to find a way to help people so that they will not come up with constipation uh, and lots of issues with the large intestine and also with digestion. Okay? And uh, going, throwing whatever we have eaten every day is a very important fact of life. Okay, so not many people can do that. Okay, now what we do here now, we have got three types of anima. We're talking about the first called the bowel anima. This one is to make sure that you go to the toilet and make sure everything that doesn't want to be there goes out of your body. Okay, now this is how it is. Tower like that. And this one has got a special syringe, like a little small one here, that you can use for different sizes. You can use for children or whoever they can. Okay, so we just put it here and then back. Okay, so now. But number one, let us understand about what do we do when we eat food. When we eat food, the food enters the mouth, get digested of the carbohydrate and also convert all the food that is going to be acidic to non-acidic, alkali, by the saliva. So now it comes down into the stomach through the esophagus and it stays here for some number of time. Now between here and here, there's a lot of bacteria. But once it comes to the stomach, after carbohydrate digestion, comes the acid. When the acid comes, it kills all the bacteria. And then it starts with the duodenum. From the duodenum, it goes to all. And then, it, then once it comes to the duodenum, you have the bile and you have the pancreatic juice converting back this food from acidic into alkali again. So the food that we eat is all going to be alkali or the body must ensure, the mouth must ensure with all the saliva and all the enzyme back to alkali. So once they're here, they go in the large digestion and stay there for some time and they move and move and move. And now here, a lots and lots of bacteria are here. They live naturally. Okay, we call it probiotics, okay, a good bacteria, whatever we eat. So once they go here, they come into the large intestine and they move up and move up and down and finally go to the rectum and the sigmoid column and before they leave out of the body. So the whole process. Now, this part, you can say, will have the most amount of bacteria. So the kind of food that we eat, like egg and meat and milk and milk products are all have the sulfur and whatever the leaves your body can be very, very smelly. Sometimes we have constipation, this food stays here for many, many hours, maybe even one day or two days. I know people who have not gone to toilet for three days and this all stays here, the bacterial act and all whatever dirt is in here will be absorbed by the, uh, by the system and you go back to the liver. The liver is absorbing all the food. So whatever absorbed in the stomach, in the liver, in the small intestine and all for the liver. So whatever toxicity will go inside. So the liver can become toxic due to this. Okay, so now, what we do now, let's say for example somebody eats. When they eat the food, they eat lunch, they have breakfast and then they have uh, lunch and they, have, they may have tea, they may have dinner. So all will get packed up and sometimes you go to toilet once. When you go to toilet once, some will leave and some will not leave. Maybe the dinner will not leave. And you go back to the toilet the next day. You Next day you go back, this lunch dinner that you eat may stay in the body for 24 hours, you go to toilet once a day. Now when that happens, a lot of things stays back here and the body, the lard can be toxic. So now what we do here, we do enemas. Uh, very simple, there are lots of enemas. In India, it's very common to have animal, but they use a little can and the can will go down. Here, it's very simple. You just fill up your water, how much water you want, and then just put in your in your, in your your bowel area. Just a little bit like that. You don't push. Just put it at the bowel area, just like that, and you push the water inside. You push the water inside. Once you push the water inside, water will go to the sigmoid called the rectum and create something here and tell the body, push it up. When the body pushes out its water, whatever feces you have here will move down. If they are here, they move down here. And then they don't come up. You do another enema, this thing moves here. Moves here. Maybe after five or even three animals, you find new feces getting out of your body. Otherwise, they're going to come out in the next natural way you go to the toilet. Sometimes you do not do that probably. So now, so what you can do enema, you keep on doing and more and more of these fishes will come out. The more and more fish comes out until all what you do anima is just clean, plain water. All you need is to just get clean water to do this job. You don't have to have any soap water, oily, oily water, nothing. Just get water from the tap, clean water, just go down here and push it inside. You'll be fine. Okay? Thank you very much. Very easy. We are doing it. This is available now. It's called PVH bowel animal syringe. Use a syringe, not a cat. Very simple, very easy.
Okay, bye. column and before the leaf out of the body so the whole process now this part you can say will have the most amount of bacteria so the kind of food that we eat like egg and meat and milk and milk products are all have the sulfur and whatever the leaves your body can be very very smell sometimes you have constipation this food stays here for many many hours maybe even one day or two days I know people who have not gone to toilet for three days and this all stays here the bacterial act and all whatever dirt is in here will be absorbed by the uh, by the system and you go back to the liver the liver is absorbing all the food. So whatever absorbed in the stomach, in the liver, in the small intestine, and all for the liver. So whatever toxicity will go inside. So the liver can become toxic due to this. Okay, so now. What we do now, let's say for example somebody eats. When they eat the food, they eat lunch, they have breakfast, and then they have... Uh, lunch and they, have, they may have tea, they may have dinner. So all will get packed up and sometimes you go to toilet once. When you go to toilet once, some will leave and some will not leave. Maybe the dinner will not leave. And you go back to the toilet the next day. You, next day you go back, this lunch dinner that you eat may stay in the body for 24 hours, you go to toilet once a day. Now when that happens, a lot of things stays back here and the body, the lard can be toxic. So now what we do here, we do anything. Very simple. There are lots of animals. In India, it is very common to have animals, but they use a little can and the can will go down there. Here, it's very simple. You just fill up your water, how much water you want, and then just put in your in your in your bowel area. Just a little bit like that. You don't push. Just put it at the bowel area, just like that, and you push the water inside. You push the water inside. Once you push the water inside, water will go to the sigmoid called the rectum and create something here and tells the body. Push it up. When the body pushes out its water, whatever feces you have here will move down. If they are here, they move down here. And then they don't come out. You do another enema, this thing moves here. Moves here. Maybe after five or even three animals, you find new feces getting out of your body. Otherwise, they're going to come out in the next natural way. You go to the toilet. Sometimes you do not do that properly. So now, so what you can do, enema, you keep on doing and more and more of these fishes will come out. The more and more fish comes out until all what you do anymore is just clean, plain water. All you need is to just get clean water to do this job. You don't have to have any soap water, oily, oily water, nothing. Just get water from the tap, clean water, just go down here and push it inside. You'll be fine. Okay? Thank you very much. Very easy. We are doing it. This is available now. It's called PVH Bowel animal syringe. These are syringe, not a cat. Very simple, very easy. Okay, right.